There are two people I would love to mention. Uh, one person that I really admire who's living is actually Michelle Obama. Uh, she kind of changed the paradigm for the way black women are viewed all over the world and her fortitude and her uh, uh, strength and conciseness uh, has made uh, just has made her inspiration not only to, to me and other black people but I think just people all over the world. My inspirational person is Oprah Winfrey. There's a quote um, that says, be the change you wish to see and I think that she really personifies that. Um, when you look at her history, uh, she was brought up with, by a housemaid, which was her mother, and her mother's dreams for her were to be a housemaid. It, she was brought up in poverty, she was molested as a child, she got pregnant, and against all odds she's defied everything and become a global, influential, powerful, wealthy, abundant woman. The Ashanti tribe is a very big tribe within Ghana and one of our sort of heroines of our past is a woman called Yaa Asantwa. She basically took on the British. The guy who was the colonel at the time came to the Ashanti region and said that he wants this thing called the Golden Stool. We believe that it was brought from the heavens to, by this priest called a Konfonochi. And it's also believed that it contains the spirits of the Ashanti people, past, present, and those yet to be born. So for this guy, Hodgson, to come and want to take it was a massive affront to the Ashanti people. The chiefs at the time were all talking, going, oh, what are we gonna do? And she stood up and gave this incredible speech, effectively saying, listen, I don't know what's happened to the Ashanti men, but if you guys don't go, I'm gonna get all the women and we're gonna go. She's an incredible force and I think her memory to me is one of somebody who in the face of what might seem is impossible, she had the courage to go, well it can be possible if we will believe we're willing to do it and to take the chance for it. And so for that, she is my inspiration for Black History Month. The other person I would want to mention is uh a family member, my uh, great-grandmother, uh, Estelle Williams, who uh, we call Tucci, uh, and she worked as a maid for a uh, Jewish family in uh, Glencoe, I believe, in Glencoe, Illinois, and her story is very similar to that of Caroline, uh, which uh, really moved me. It's exactly the same kind of experience and the same kind of loving relationship she had with the, the family she worked with. So I would uh, uh, definitely give a shout out to my great-grandmother, Stella Williams.